Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. So this is, should be episode 23, I believe, if my last guess was correct at the end of the last episode. Uh, so we slept here on Coastal. Sounds like it's really nasty outside. Um, we are a little bit over encumbered, not too hateful. Uh, let's take a peek outside, see what the weather looks like. Sometimes when you walk out here, it'll, it'll change miraculously from the time you stand on one side of the door to the time you open and stand on the other side of the door. Nope, it's pretty nasty. I don't know what I heard. I thought I heard a different sound effect there. I know they added like a thousand new sound effects for like weather, ambient sounds, and things like that. Um, outdoor sounds. Maybe that's what I just heard was something new. But uh, we're heading inside because I don't want to even come close to walking out there. I've heard horror stories about what happens to your clothes if you're out for an hour in a, in a blizzard. I've mean, I heard like condition hits on your clothes like wolf pelt clothing like 25% things like that. I ain't about to test that theory. So what have we got here? We've got cotton long underwear and this long underwear. See, yeah, we're just going to just gonna put these ones away. Let's put these in the drawer. All right. We'll just, yeah, we'll throw it up here for now. Yeah, let's just put those in there. There we go. All right, there we go. So let's uh, go ahead and hit the sack here for another hour. See if the weather changes changes at all. Doesn't look like it's still got question marks there. If you guys left comments in the last episode, um, and I'm not doing them in this episode because I'm filming these back to back, and I might do another episode after this one. I'm not sure. So. I'm not ignoring you guys, I just haven't seen your episode, or seen your comments from the last episode yet. You know me, I try not to ignore your comments at all. Oh, gosh. Wow. This looks nasty. Tell you what, I, there it was, it sounded like a cat. It sounded like someone like strangling a cat. How in the world did Hinterlin get that sound clip? You start chasing the dumpsters up behind that place. Maybe call uh, Peter or something. All right. The Humane Society. Don't call Peter. Peter will freaking firebomb him or do something stupid like that. All right. Okay, this this storm is uh, well. We're in a we're in a good spot, uh, honestly, for a, for a storm. If we had to be on the road and had to pick a place to uh, get stuck at, this really ain't too bad. Because we got rabbit meat raw in the freezer. We got all kinds of food. Um, nice warm bed. Even though I see I'm seeing my breath, but it's 55 degrees. It feels like it's 55 degrees in here with all my clothes on. I guess the air temp's 27, that's why. Okay, so that it does make sense. Okay, I stand corrected. Uh, just go ahead and rewind your brain uh, 15 seconds and try to get that part of your life back. Jeez. Wow. I tell you what, I'm glad I'm not up on the um, abandoned lookout right now. I mean, I got really good clothes, but I don't know if I'd... I, I, just, I wouldn't feel as comfortable as I do now. Still question marks. Ugh. This might be an all-day storm. This might be... Of course, if you think about it, we really haven't seen a horrible blizzard. Have we seen one at all in this series? I don't think... Like, not, not of this caliber. Yep, still going. Thirsty and hungry now. Extremely well-rested. I'm going to go ahead and eat something here, I think. Let's see here, let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. These crackers. Let's let's do the dog food since it's in pretty pretty crappy condition. Peaches and dog food. That sounds like a good con I'm gonna eat the dog food first. And then the peaches for obvious reasons. You don't want to end on a bad note. And then just have water to wash it down. I mean that's ugh. Gosh, we do have Stacy's soda downstairs. Hmm. Four and fifty. Let's do this one too. Help lower the weight a little bit anyway, so no worries. Sounds like the storm's finally died off. And this is not going to be nearly enough to replenish us, so we'll we'll go hit the toilet or something like that. I think there's a water bottle laying around here too anyway. Do we there's a Stacy soda there. 
Yeah, we still got half a gallon here. Should have just hit take all, I guess. Yeah, we're, we're not even... Oh, yeah, wow, that .07 actually filled us up pretty good. I didn't think it would, but okay. Um, I don't need that. We'll leave that. Let's go check the weather. All right. Oh, I must have went out a different door or something. I'm like, where in the heck am I? Oh no, this is this is the same door. It's just I can see now. Okay. E. All right. Um, I think we're gonna go up top here. We're gonna travel along the top. We're gonna walk along the top edge here. This this should be like a. a okay. What a beautiful game. There's some good gear down in there, I guarantee it. Nothing that we really need, but when uh, times get tough, that's a good place to to go loot. But we have pretty much everything we need at this point. Now it's just going to be a question of uh, trying to be as efficient as possible with our survival. Uh, you know, get some you know rabbit mitts, do some trapping. Maybe bring down a bear, get a get a bear roll. Um, oh my god! I swear to God, my cat's going to give me a heart attack. You guys are going to be like, this will this this video might end up being the uh, the one that goes viral for me because it'll be the one where it's like, listen to YouTuber as he ha actually has a real heart attack and dies, and I won't be there to reap to, re to enjoy the rewards of it. <laughs> I finally made it big on YouTube. Too late. This is something like calm clearing or serenity something. I don't know. Serenity Valley or something like that. I think. I'm curious now. Take a look at my condition. Oops. It's already there. Oh, yeah, we're fine. I'm just walking up here to see what the name of this area is. It has a name. I can't remember what it is. And now it's bugging. Silent clearing. Okay. Wow. I was being way too uh, thesaurus -y with it. That's a word, right? I don't know. I only have a thesaurus. I don't have a dictionary. I traded my traded my dictionary for my thesaurus. All right. Um. Just trying to keep my eyes and ears over there. there. We go. There's the lookout. Once we get up there, we're going to be really close to uh, getting out of here. But I kind of, kind of want to go running up there and adventuring up there. I, th I think I might. Well, part of me wants to. I don't, don't really even care what's in this cabin. Well, I guess I could find some really epic, a wool sweater. That I guess that's the one thing I really still need. Oh. oh, the gods of the fools. Another can opener. Oh, I'm good on that. I'll leave that behind. Okay. You know what? Let's bust out our storm lantern. Now I'm good on water. Leave that behind. Water doesn't spoil anyway, so that's good. A bunch of bed rolls. Wool sweater. Mm, nah, scrap metal. I'll leave that behind. Uh, I'll probably eat this candy bar. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave that candy bar. That candy bar. These are all gonna be good areas to come and hit when, when we're when we're running for our lives on day like 300. <laughs> I mean, it's like, dude, you know how many episodes you guys, how many hours of your lives you would have lost just if we make it to episode 300? My gosh. I can just hear everybody clicking me off button. They're like, yeah, why am I watching this? I could be out, you know, living life to the fullest. Good call, Accurize. Way to talk me out of your video. Um, I think I can, 
I think there's a switchback I can kind of jump up here on. I think. I know I could have got to it by going up and around that way. But I think I can get still get to it from up here. Coastal is one of the places that I feel like the least comfortable on. Um, I don't know. Just never really got a great feel for it. Never spent. I got it's just because I haven't spent a whole lot of time here. Pleasant Valley, pretty good. Um, Mystery Lake, obviously, feel like I could just. That feels like home to me right there. Just impale myself on that stick. the temp out here 45 degrees okay see it's nice traveling with all this gear on like all this nice clothing oh she he's big <laughs> no he's actually the exact same size of every other bear on this game but uh okay um hmm well that's interesting i think we're going to go up and try to go around i think that's what i needed to do anyway i think there's actually a switch back here and I always end up missing. Yeah, if I went that way, I'd still be too low. So I'd actually need to go up and around on this little switch back here. So that bear kind of... Yeah, I think there's a road that runs right up there. Yeah, bear kind of actually saved me a little bit of time. Maybe, I don't know. I still want to see a bear take down a wolf. Or a pack of wolves take down a bear. I don't know. I just want to see... I just want to see bear versus uh, wolves. I feel like I'm... Half the time I feel like I'm... Going into a... Uh, searching like a... An outdoor lot or something like that. When I come around these corners, I'm like slicing the pie. And keeping my... Uh, looking real deep into the corners. Using the old ruler one, like I mentioned, I think it was in the last episode. Yeah, this is the road I wanted. Okay, no problem. How are we doing on weight and everything? Seventy. Yeah, and we're we're not even coming close to being fatigued, so nothing too much to worry about. I would like to search Mystery Lake a little bit for the. Uh, uh, once I get comfortable there, have some traps going, all that sort of thing. I would like to search and have a carrying around a bear roll, bear bed roll. I would like to uh, search that place for the uh, prepper cache. There's several different types of prepper. I've only found them like, you know, three, four times, something like that. I, it's not something that I normally go out actively looking for just because I always find that the amount of energy spent looking... Um, is never worth you know it's never worth it on the on the back end when you find the place if you find it it's a gamble i mean it's one thing that for for me it's like it's a survival situation if i come upon one awesome but uh, normally they're in such out of the way places that you never have a reason to go there so that's so that's one of the reasons why i hardly ever find them and to me a survival situation should be all about gambling taking gambles it should be about well what's the least how am I, what can I do that's the least amount of gambling? Basically, you should be doing the exact opposite. But, uh, you know, I guess if you get, if you get dead, am I going to run into this bear? God, I hope we don't just, like, come to a head here. There, no, that's right. Okay, that's right. I always think that that other path is going to lead up here, but it doesn't. It actually goes down in front of the, uh, in front of the, uh, abandoned lookout. Sometimes there's a few wolves here. I've counted as many as three here one time. So, we need to just be on our toes. I don't know if they've changed things a little bit, but... It seems like the wolves are having another union meeting. Or they're having a choir practice, which would be even more fun afterwards to watch the wolves walk around. Some rose hips there. Abandoned lookout. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, wait. No, we're not even going to start looking from here. We're going to get up here. And then we're going to look at it. Oh, you know, this would be a really good place to take a shot at the bear if it comes up around this way. Be so protected, right? Mm. 
you know what there's gonna be something out here one of these times that they leave out here is like an Easter egg that you because nobody ever walks around there nobody except for noobs ah oh, what have we got here rifle ammo I'll take that another hunting knife uh, another uh, magnifying lens I have one of those already I'm gonna leave those items cupboard check out the cup the cup board and see what we got nothing really there got our bed what's the temperature in here for me 55 degrees that's nice let's go check take a look at the view here just enjoy the view a little bit don't ignore the clipping of the uh, docks and all that <laughs> yeah it's nice can we see that bear down there I wonder if we can see that bear did you guys hear thunder That's really nice. Alright. So, what does that mean? Six hours of daylight left. I think it means there's something happening. The music changing. I'm trying to find that bear, actually, a little bit. He's still wandering around down there. So, there's a bear up here. There was a bear down there. I wonder if it's the same bear and he's just doing like a big round, like a loop or something. I wonder if there's only one bear on the map and they do like a large loop. Because I never really see them walking back and forth, back and forth like uh, wolves tend to do. In their own little world. Okay, let's get moving here. We don't have very far to go. Let's just double check our situation here. Uh, make sure that we're good to go. Everything looking pretty good. 50 degrees, 1600 calories, not thirsty. Got extra food. We're good to go. Got more, even more ammo. So now we're up to 26 rounds there. All right. Which we got? 26 plus. I think that's 26 plus what we got in the gun. I think that's eight. So let's see. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me do a reload here. Add one around. See what happens. So okay. So I think it's. Hmm. I don't know if that includes what's in the rifle or not, but we got a lot of ammo. I hear birds. Can I squeeze through? I think I can. Very good. Let's check both ways before we hop it down there. Okay, it looks clear. It looks clear. Before we make the jump. Okay. I'm a little suspicious about where all the this birds just flying over. Yeah, there they are. I'm a little suspicious about where all the wolves are. I hate I hate areas like this. Nowhere to go. Decoy, baby, decoy. It's three, isn't it? Yeah, salty crackers. <laughs> Saltines for the win. Choosing life, dropping saltines. You just never hear that, like, when old guys are around the campfire having beer. So let me tell you how. Oh, shoot. Speaking of, let me tell you how a box of saltines saved my life. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let me tell you how a box of saltines saved my life. Where's he at? Uh, I don't care. I'm moving. So... Okay. I don't care. That's cool. Enjoy him. Do what you want with him. Trade him with your friends. Oh, wait. We're in the abandoned mine. This goes to... Or in the mine. Uh, this actually goes to Pleasant Valley, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, let's unlock Pleasant Valley while we're here. Might as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. I actually need to go down into the... Uh, I need to go a little bit further down the, down the road, the way I was heading, uh, to get back to uh, Mystery Lake. Hmm. There's going to be some interesting... Oh, we got coal all over the place. Yeah. Someone was... Uh, one of our 
lovely lady commentators was uh, mentioning that uh, they were laughing when they were looking at the coal because, uh, ooh, insulated boots. I don't think those are going to be as mm, good. I want to leave those behind. Those aren't those aren't as good as the deerskin boots. But those would have been nice to find early on, man. Wow, sewing kit. But she was mentioning how funny the coal looks. She said it looks like freaking poop, and I'm like, yeah. I said I I grew up in a house with coal fireplace, and I can tell you for a fact that to me that does not look like coal. Coal's black as can be, has a little shine to it typically, and it's sort of like you know has like a flaky type of. It kind of looks like shale, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a geologist, but uh, wow. We hit the coal mother load up in here. 71 degrees in here. That's with my little lantern on. It would be lower if I turned it off, but... That's yeah, pretty nice and comfortable, actually. All right. Let's check out this little area here, see what we can find. Nope, 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 nope. What we got in here? Hook? Yeah, I'll take the hook. Don't have to make them that way, at least. Save me from having to make them. Antibiotics? Okay. Yeah, sure. There's some simple tools back there. I'm going to leave those. Um... Sorry, dude. What's your storm lantern look like? 67%? That's better than mine. I think I'll be taking yours. Uh, yeah, I'll drink that real quick while I'm here. Let me do a little bit of let me do a little bit of juggling here of the uh, lanterns and the fuel. Okay, so that one has 68% fuel. This one has 33%. Hmm. Can I, if I harvest it, do I actually get that fuel back? I think you do as long as you have a container that you can put it in. Mmm. And I do. Let's test the theory, see what happens. I got 0.23 gallons here, and I got 33% fuel there. Let's test this theory and harvest it, and I think one of these will end up getting the fuel. And if it doesn't, this might get it. The .01, that might get it. That little lantern fuel container. I'm not sure, but let's see. .01, .23, and 33. All right, so let's harvest this one. Real quick. Ouch. That was my thumb. Can't see what I'm doing. Uh-oh, did you see the question marks? It means there's a storm outside. Recovered. There we go, .18 kerosene so it did go into this one didn't it all right and then it put a little bit into here possibly yeah i think it put a little bit into here also yeah so let's go ahead and uh refuel this one there we go all right and let's go ahead and make sure we grab that instead of a flare. All right. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. And I can hear the storm outside. That's okay. We got a bedroll. It's not bad in here. If we have to wait out the storm in here, so be it. So be it. I'm not heading back the way it came, am I? Am I walking back the exact same way I came? I don't think so. No, I don't remember seeing a workbench. Okay, so this is new. Yeah, this is all new. Hey, what you what are you doing down there, granola bar? All right. Probably useful. Seventy-six percent. We'll wait on that. I'm gonna check my uh, inventory here. Get some. Make sure I'm f have plenty of food also. Okay. Uh, let's see how we doing for. F we could we could go for a bite. So let's do that. Couple energy bars, that'll be great. A couple 
couple energy bars and a soda. I'm gonna save that soda because I really don't need the extra calories and it will waste them. Yeah, so we're just gonna drink the water. I'm gonna grab that granola bar that's down here though. Firwood, some newspaper roll. How's my toop doing? Condition wise, 98%. Oh, okay, we're gonna leave that other one that we just found. Here we go. Let's grab this cloth, turn this off real quick since it is stormy outside. Let's go ahead and uh, do some <laughs> pitch black repairs on our uh, clothing. We do it all by feel around here. Um, I think we'll probably fix our socks. They're kind of getting a little low. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fix the socks. I should make them 100%, actually. Yeah, it will. So 93% chance of success. So we're getting up there with our success chances, so that's good. Nice. All right. All right, a little bit warmer. Not, not too bad. Now, that being done, next thing I'm going to find in the very next um, container will be wool socks, like 99%. It's, it's almost a guarantee. Oh, another piece of cloth. I'll take that. If we have to kill time waiting for the storm, might as well do some quick repairs. Ah, oh, beef jerky. That's good. I'll take that. Kind of grabbing a few. You know what? I'd like to have a thousand calories at least walking around. Of something or another. Preferably something that doesn't attract wolves. And another flare. Thank you, sir. Hmm. I'm being rewarded for stupidity. Yeah, I should just start firing off shots, shots randomly. They're just going to start throwing buckets <laughs> of uh, 303 ammo at me. All right. Let's do this. Let's take a quick peek around here. See what we see. Make sure there's no ammo just laying around here. Not seeing anything. Probably missing arrows stuck everywhere. There's probably like... I probably passed about a dozen arrows that I'm going to hear about here shortly. In the comments. Well, not too shortly, because if I do another episode, I won't hear about it until you guys won't won't get a response back until like uh, episode 24, 25, something like that. And this, I think, just goes off to the. I think this dead ends. I know if you got to keep going up to. Sometimes there's stuff halfway decent that's down here. Yeah, it's just, oh, okay, continue. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Sometimes there is stuff that's halfway decent down here. I, all right, take the bandage. Another flare. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to do it like Daisy and wait, wait an hour or wait for the server reset and to come back to that container. I'll tell you that much. All right, let's keep going. How we doing? We're starting to get a little tired here. Probably going to end up just spending a night inside this. Uh, we're going to stick our heads out, plant our flag on Pleasant Valley, and go, we were here. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, hop back in here. Probably go back to the coastal and uh, yeah, sleep. Sounds sounds pretty wicked out there. Look at all that coal. Wow. I tell you what, coal fireplace is neat because you get some really, it just, I remember sitting there and getting ready for school and I'd be sitting there watching cartoons and uh, you'd look into that fireplace and it would be like a cavern that was just on fire. Wow. Which is the exact opposite of what it's like outside right now. Okay, so we made it to uh, Pleasant Valley and um, it would just glow and there would be all these different shapes inside there, little caverns of fire and stuff and it was just... It, it really looked neat. I mean, uh, I kind of wish I would have experienced a, a wood fireplace a little more, like, as a kid. But uh, for some reason, we were all about the coal. And uh, it was nice. But uh, the wood fireplace had that good little crackle that goes on, too. Of course, coal can crack, like, make crackling noises, too, but not nearly as much as wood from my experience. All right, I think this is a yeah, dead end. Let's search. What should be like? Bah! Gotcha. No, just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> it's messed up, man. <laughs> unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Grab that torch. All right, let's get going. So we are up and wait here. Now, I've heard that you can go up like 
freaking 80, 90 pounds and still be able to move normally until, you know, you start to get really fatigued. So we should still be able to run around and do things like that. But you just have to be cautious. Um, don't really want to tempt fate too much like that, but uh, I keep hearing the thumping noise. My God, it's like, did they implement a slender into this game and I missed it in the change, change logs? Of course, if they did, they wouldn't tell you in the change log now, would they? That sort of ruined the surprise. Hmm. I'm just waiting for me to come around one of these quarters and like bats just come flying at me, Scooby Doo style. I'll just you'll just you'll you'll hear like a, th a few thumps and then I'll be way away from the camera, like my voice will be, and I'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, haha, <laughs> that that was that didn't get me at all, did it? <laughs> nope, didn't scare me one bit. Be like, yeah. All right, I'm trying to remember which way we go. I think, I think we go this way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That sounded like it came from up ahead. That's creepy. That sounds like it's freaking close, too. Is somebody locked in the porta potty? Makes me just want to kind of like do one of these little numbers right here. Um. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got 30 rounds of ammo and I want to make sure that this noise stops. All right, let's pick this up. Let's get over here. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. It's still nasty outside. I'll take a quick peek out here before we call it an episode. But we're going to have to wait out the storm, it looks like, at the start of the next episode. Oh, uh, no. Actually actually got pretty nice. It's actually pretty nice out, but uh, only two hours of daylight left. Don't really want to travel like that, especially when I'm getting tired. So we're going to call it, uh, we're going to camp here for the night. 52 degrees without any type of fire at all. So hold on one second, let me holster that. Should be 52, yeah, okay. So uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, we're in good shape. Uh, nothing really to worry about, no complaints. Um, we're carrying, we're, we're Carrying a little bit of weight, but uh, we, we're doing okay. 27 days, 5 hours, 31 minutes. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that tip jar. Um, let's drop a bedroll right here. Oops. Right there, I say. Right there. Let's rest for one hour here. Hit that tip jar on the main channel, if your country does allow it. Greatly appreciate it. Every little bit helps. And then, honestly, you guys... Um, oh, it gives you a little tag, too. It says, uh, Supporter. Like after your name, if you leave a comment on the main channel page, I don't know if it does it in the comments in the actual videos. It, sh I mean, it, in my opinion, it should. I don't know if it actually does or not, but I know I've seen people in the uh, discussion section of the main channel page after they've uh, donated. It says supporter after the name, so that's kind of cool. I mean, you know, dollar. Hey, you get like a little tag that says supporters. So. All right, let's pick up this bedroll before I forget to do that, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Long Dark. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care.